perpendicular bisector theorem statement every point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the end points of the segment given line l is the perpendicular bisector of segment ab at point m here line l is a perpendicular bisector of segment ab at point m point p is any point on line l we have to prove pa is equal to pb construction draw segment ap and segment bp so here segment ap and segment bp are drawn in triangle pma and triangle pmb segment pm congruent to segment pm which is a common side angle pma congruent to angle pmb each of 90 degree and segment am congruent to segment bm which is given to you therefore triangle pma congruent to triangle pmb by saa test therefore segment pa congruent to segment pb corresponding sides of congruent triangles now if the segments are congruent their lengths are equal therefore length pa is equal to length pb hence it is proved that every point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment is equidistant from the end points of the segment given a is a point in the interior of angle pqr so here is point a in the interior of angle pqr segment ac is perpendicular to ray qr segment ab is perpendicular to ray pq and ab is equal to ac it is given to you you have to prove that ray qa is the bisector of angle pqr that is angle b q a is equal to angle c q a learn to prove this proof with the help of your teacher properties of inequalities of sides and angles of a circle statement of this theorem is if two sides of a triangle are unequal then the angle opposite to the greater side is greater than angle opposite to the smaller side if you observe the figure it is very clear that segment xz is greater than segment xy the angle opposite to greater side xz is angle xyz and the angle opposite to smaller side is angle xzy so the given is in triangle xyz side xz greater than side xy so we have to prove angle xyz is greater than angle xzy for this we have to do construction take point p on side xz such that xy is equal to xp it is shown with the similar sign and draw segment yp proof in triangle xyp xy congruent to xp construction therefore angles opposite to them are angle xyp which is equal to angle xpy by isosceles triangle theorem statement number 1 now angle xpy is an exterior angle of triangle ypz therefore angle xpy is greater than angle pzy 
y which is remote interior angle so reason is exterior angle theorem therefore angle x y p greater than angle p z y from 1 so instead of x p y angle x y p is substituted here therefore angle x y p plus angle p y z is greater than p angle p z y because if a is greater than b and c is greater than 0 then a plus c is greater than b therefore angle x y z is greater than angle p z y that is angle x y z is greater than angle x z y is proved let's learn to prove the theorem the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. Given triangle ABC is any triangle. So we have to prove AB plus AC is greater than BC. AB plus BC is greater than AC. And AC plus BC is greater than AB. Construction Take a point D on ray BA such that AD is equal to AC which is shown with a similar sign. Now, in triangle ACD, AC is equal to AD construction. Therefore, the angle opposite to them are equal. That is angle ACD is equal to angle ADC isosceles triangle theorem. Therefore, angle ACD plus angle ACB is greater than angle ADC. Therefore, angle BCD is greater than angle ADC. Because angle ACD plus angle ACB with the angle addition property it forms angle BCD. So this sum is replaced by angle BCD. Therefore side opposite to angle BCD is BD. Therefore side BD is greater than side BC which is a side opposite to angle A, D, C. The side opposite to greater angle is greater. Therefore, now BD is equal to BA plus AD. So, BD is replaced with BA plus AD. It is greater than BC. And the reason is since BD is equal to BA plus AD. Therefore, BA plus AC is greater than BC. Since AD is equal to AC. Therefore, instead of AD, AC is substituted here. Similarly, we can prove that AB plus BC is greater than AC. And BC plus AC is greater than AB. Practice set 3.4 question 1. In the adjoining figure... Point A is on the bisector of angle X, Y, Z. Point A is, the ang is on the angle bisector of angle X, Y, Z. If AX is equal to 2 cm, then find AZ. Solution AX is equal to 2 cm. It's given to you. Now point A lies on the bisector of angle X, Y, Z is given to you. Point A is equidistant from the sides of angle X, Y, Z because every point on the bisector of an angle is equidistant from the sides of the angle. This you have learnt. Therefore, AZ is equal to AX. Since AX is 2 cm, AZ is also equal to 2 centimeter.
Right. To set 3.4 question 2. In the adjoining figure, angle RST is equal to 56 degree. Angle RST, 56 degree. Segment PT perpendicular to ray ST. Segment PT perpendicular to ray ST. Segment PR perpendicular to segment SR. Segment PR perpendicular to segment, sorry, ray SR. And segment PR congruent to segment PT. Segment PR congruent to segment PT. Find the measure of angle R S P. Solution. Segment PT perpendicular to ray ST. Segment PR perpendicular to ray SR is given to you. Segment PR congruent to segment PT is also given to you. Therefore, Point P lies on the bisector of angle TSR because any point equidistant from the sides of an angle is on the bisector of the angle. This you have learnt. Therefore, ray SP is the bisector of angle RST. But angle R S T is given 56 degree. Therefore, angle R S P is equal to half of angle R S T. Substituting the value of angle R S T as 56 degree. Therefore, angle R S P is equal to 28 degree after dividing 56 by 2. Question number 3. In triangle PQR, PQ is equal to 10 cm, QR is equal to 12 cm, PR is equal to 8 cm. Find out the greatest and the smallest angle of the triangle. Solution. In triangle PQR, PQ is equal to 10 cm, QR is equal to 12 cm and PR is equal to 8 cm. It's given to you. Since 12 is greater than 10 is greater than 8. So, side QR is greater than side PQ is greater than side PR. Therefore, the angle, supposite, angle opposite to side QR is angle QPR is greater than the angle opposite to side PQ which is angle PRQ is greater than the side sorry angle opposite to side PR which is angle PQR. Reason angle opposite to greater side is greater. Therefore in triangle PQR angle QPR is the greatest angle and angle PQR is the smallest angle. Question 4. In triangle FAN, angle F is equal to 80 degree, angle A is equal to 40 degree. Find out the greatest and the smallest side of the triangle. State the reason. Solution. In triangle FAN, angle F plus angle A plus angle N is equal to 180 degree. Sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180. This you know. Therefore, substituting the values of angle F as 80 degree, angle A as 40 degree, angle N is as it is, is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, angle N is equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree minus 40 degree. Therefore, angle N is equal to 60 degree. Since 80 degree is greater than 60 degree is greater than 40 degree. Therefore, angle F is greater than N is greater than angle A. <coughs> Therefore, the sides opposite to angle F is AN is greater than the side opposite to angle N that is FA and is greater than the side opposite to angle A is FN. 
reason is side opposite to greater angle is greater. Therefore, in triangle FAN, AN is the greatest side and FN is the smallest side.